There's something strange in the air, or better yet, in space. Have you ever noticed that absolutely everything in the universe spins? From the loneliest moons to the largest cosmic structures, nothing stands still. But why? Why this? Obsession with spinning? Could it be that the universe is trying to tell us something, and we still haven't understood it? While you go about your daily life thinking the ground beneath your feet is stable, the Earth is spinning at more than 1,600 kilometers per hour. And that's nothing compared to what's happening out there. Entire galaxies spin like disks in overdrive, obeying invisible laws that choreograph a perfect cosmic ballet. Coincidence? Hardly. In this video, we're going to explore why everything spins, and what that reveals about the origin of time, of matter, and maybe even of consciousness. Get ready to challenge everything you think you know. We'll uncover secrets hidden in the folds of space-time and see the universe in a way you never imagined, because understanding this movement could be the first step towards something much greater. You've looked up at the sky before and thought, it all looked still. The truth is far from that. From the moon's graceful orbit around the Earth to the colossal whirlpools of superclusters of galaxies, Everything is in constant motion. There is no rest in the cosmos, only rotations, orbits, and spirals across unimaginable scales. And here's what's truly fascinating. This movement isn't just beautiful, it's essential. Celestial rotation is deeply connected to a physical property called angular momentum. Think of it as an eternal push an object receives at birth and carries for the rest of its existence. It's what keeps planets spinning stars twirling and galaxies spiraling like giant whirlwinds. Without it, the universe would be static, chaotic, and completely unlike the one we know. And no, this isn't just science talk. This cosmic dance affects us right here on Earth. The cycle of day and night, the seasons, the weather, all of it is a direct result of our planet's rotation and orbit. In other words, the universe spins, and we spin with it. And that's just the beginning. Traveling to the moon isn't as simple as launching a rock into space. Before landing anywhere, a spacecraft must sync with the rhythm of the cosmos. It must enter orbit, like someone stepping into a dance needing to find the exact tempo. Miss the timing? You fall, or drift into the void. When a spacecraft orbits a celestial body, it's in constant freefall, but never crashes. Gravity pulls, speed pushes. The result is a flawless curve. It looks like magic, but it's just physics. Without that, no landing would work. That's the elegance of the universe's laws. Nothing is forced. Every movement depends on alignment, speed, trajectory, and inertia in perfect harmony. Every maneuver respects angular momentum. Break that balance, and nature pushes back. And it's not just planets and stars. In the quantum world, everything spins too, just in a way that defies logic. Electrons, for example, have a property called spin, as if they were tiny whirlpools of pure energy. You can't see the spin, but its effects are very real. It creates magnetic fields, drives chemical reactions, and influences how matter behaves. Even our brains rely on it. It's as if we're all connected to the universe through this invisible spin, and incredibly, spin obeys the same conservation laws as angular momentum. From the tiniest particle to the most massive black hole, everything seems to follow the same rule. As if the universe had a hidden code, and we've been spinning with it all along. Now picture the silence of the void. Clouds of cosmic dust drifting aimlessly. But when gravity pulls them inward, something unexpected happens. They start to spin. At first, it's subtle. But the tighter they collapse, the faster they rotate. Energy concentrates. Chaos gives way to structure. This is how stars, planets, and moons are born. Rotation isn't a side effect. It's the mechanism of creation itself. And this happens everywhere. From the birth of a solar system to the grand formation of galaxies, angular momentum is there. Like a universal signature passed down by the cosmos. Now, with so much motion, you might expect complete chaos. Planets crashing, orbits colliding. But that's not what we see. Despite all this activity, the universe runs with stunning precision. Two principles explain why. Inertia and conservation of angular momentum. Inertia keeps planets on track. 
angular momentum keeps their spin stable. It's as if each object is locked to invisible rails that guide its path. This is what prevents destruction. Not luck, but balance. The cosmos isn't chaotic. It's engineered. And the beauty lies in this. Without chains, the universe moves. Like a perfect machine. Each rotation fitting into a grander rhythm. Each orbit honoring the larger dance. This harmony we observe in the night sky is no accident. It reflects a deeper order. Perhaps even an intelligence we have yet to understand. Escaping Earth isn't like taking a running jump. It's more like trying to break free from an invisible giant's grip. Gravity holds us tight. To leave, we need speed, a lot of it. 11.2 kilometers per second to be exact. Anything less, and we fall back. Now imagine escaping the entire solar system. You'd need at least 43.5 kilometers per second. That's massive. Every gram of mass must overcome a force that never stops pulling. The farther you want to go, the more energy you need. That's why deep space travel isn't just about power. It's about knowing how to move. And when. If sheer speed were enough, we'd already be exploring other stars. But fuel is heavy. And expensive. The solution? Use gravity itself. It's called gravitational assist. A technique that turns a planet's gravity into free acceleration. It works like cosmic billiards. A spacecraft approaches a planet at just the right angle and speed. It's pulled in, curves around, and slingshots out faster than it came. No. Engine burn. No waste. Pure orbital intelligence. That's how Voyager escaped the solar system. Without this move, it would still be stuck near Earth. Gravitational assist proves those who understand motion go farther than those who try to force it. Now here's a deeper question. Everything spins, but did that spinning have a beginning? Some researchers noticed galaxies tend to spin more in one direction than the other. In a symmetrical universe, that shouldn't happen. But there is a bias. As if the universe itself carries the memory of a twist, an ancient rotational fingerprint. What if this pattern wasn't random? What if the universe was born spinning? A primal rotation, so vast and so ancient that it still echoes through space-time. What caused it? No one knows. But maybe, just maybe, the first sound of the universe wasn't a bang, it was a spin. And some believe this might be tied to dark energy, that strange force driving the universe to expand faster and faster. What if that expansion isn't a push, but a spin, a massive rotation flinging galaxies outward like a cosmic centrifuge? In that view, dark energy isn't the cause, it's the effect. Space itself might be turning. It's bold, hard to prove, but impossible to ignore. And if it's true, the universe isn't being pushed outward. It's generating its own expansion because it's spinning. Now, imagine it doesn't stop there. Some theories suggest that our universe isn't alone that we exist inside a multiverse, a vast sea of parallel universes, each with its own rules. And if they exist, could they spin too? Could universes collide, touch, and influence one another like gears in an even greater machine? A rotating multiverse would leave behind strange clues, background ripples, cosmic asymmetries, anomalies we barely notice. Maybe we've already seen them but didn't understand what they meant. Sound far-fetched? Sure. But modern physics is starting to ask those questions. Because if everything in our universe spins, maybe it's part of a pattern much bigger than we imagined, and what lies beyond is still a mystery. So here's the real question, while the universe keeps spinning without pause, what about you? Maybe the question isn't why. Maybe it's for what purpose? Because nothing grows standing still. And stagnation isn't natural. Maybe the universe is showing us, quietly, that to move is to live. So, what part of you is stuck? What's waiting for momentum? Maybe it's time to change direction, to accelerate, to leap. Because sometimes, all we're missing is the courage to spin with the universe. Here. 
every video is an invitation to wonder, question, and expand. So if that speaks to you, subscribe and turn on notifications. We're just getting started. Because here, knowledge is just the beginning.